Exploring our metaverse is kinda awesome, right? Here you can hear from folks who work on the daily to build immersive experiences like this. Get inspired for how customer experiences like these can boost your brand. It's a pleasure to welcome Karen Gupta, part of PVH Group and Web3 Evangelist. Karen's passion for immersive experiences stretches from fashion to industries like retail and even healthcare. Ready to hear his thoughts on your industry's Web3 potential. Let's dive in. Hi, my name is Karan and I work for PVH, uh, the parent company of Calvin Klein and Tommy Hilfiger. My aim is to make an impact in the fashion industry within Metaverse and also educate people about Web3. I'm also a strong advocate of inclusivity and diversity, and I truly believe that Metaverse can solve so many problems around this. Firstly, to visit any Metaverse world, you don't need a passport, you don't need a visa, you just need a device with internet connection. Any, anyone from anywhere in the world can join the Metaverse worlds, even people from Mars. Um, Secondly, Metaverse fashion is also highly inclusive because it can adapt um, to any body shapes or avatars. Also, the designers have no creative limitations. They can even put a wing on or flames on a shirt. Um, also, because of the digital nature of the Metaverse, um, people can communicate very freely. Um, there could be language processing technologies that can help people um, communicate in their native language and the system will do its job. I also believe that Metaverse will give equal opportunities to every, everyone in the world. Uh, for example, a designer based in India will have the same resources as a designer in Paris. Coming to NFTs, they are changing lives of creators every day and also turning out to be a game changer for the creator economy um, because the artists will always cre get credited and receive royalties no matter how much their work is shared. Um, NFTs are also getting involved in many ways and a lot of applications and use cases are getting developed. Um, a couple of them could be storing me medical records or storing educational information because they cannot be edited by anyone. Um, they're also getting used in brand loyalty programs um, in many ways. One of them is POAPS, which is proof of attendance protocol. Um, in this, brands are providing their customers with POAPS whenever they attend their brand launch event or any conferences and then reward them in a longer run. Um, and one of my favorite applications of NFT is actually when it's linked to a physical product, um, especially hype products. So uh, the, I think everyone knows that the resale market of hype products is huge. And if, if a brand has a NFT link to a product, they can actually track the whole life cycle of the product, receive, keep receiving royalties and also offer brand experiences to these new second or third customer. NFTs are also a vital part of the digital concept. Um, this is where digital and physical worlds will meet. Um, in the upcoming years, this concept is going to get really popular because brands will use this to onboard their existing customers on Web3 te technologies um, in a way that seems very natural. This co concept is also very important because um, even though we will spend a lot of time in metaverse um, as avatars, we will still need um, physical products to live. One good example of how brands are experimenting with this is by selling NFTs. So they're rewarding their customers who hold NFTs for a certain amount of time, let's say two months or three months, with actual physical products um, like coats and jackets. There are many more ways um, how digital and physical worlds are coming together in the form of crypto payments, virtual experiences involving physical products and a lot more. The possibilities are truly endless and I can't wait to experience them all. Thank you and see you soon.